Hey bitches, it's Bunny and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, today the struggle has been so real. It's one of those days where nothing goes how it's supposed to go. Does anyone else have those kind of days? I have those kind of days like every other day. I tried to put this wig on like five, this is not five, this is three, like five times and it wouldn't go on. The first time there wasn't enough glue, the third time there was too much glue, the third, fourth time the glue stuck to the wig. It was just a mess. Couldn't get the damn thing on my head. I was getting really frustrated. I was supposed to record this video at like one o'clock. Now it's like almost eight o'clock. So it's super frustrating. It's just one of those days where I can't get anything to get done right at all. Couple disclaimers, one, there is a ring light I'm recording with in my room so you guys can see. Um, this is a change of scenery for my usual setup. I did just want to have kind of an open concept thing so you guys can see my body better. Also, you might hear water running. That is my filter to my fish because, you know, I'm not going to turn it off because, you know, they need that to live. So you might hear that running in the background. Today, I'm here to give you guys my one month update on my BBL surgery. It has officially been one month from the date I'm recording this. Not sure what I'm going to post it, but I know that it's been one month today. So I just wanted to hop on here, give you guys some information on how I'm doing, show you guys how I'm looking, and answer any questions that I may have gotten along the way. Make sure below you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's either down here or over here or over here or over here or somewhere. It's somewhere on the screen. Make sure you subscribe. Become part of the family. Also hit that notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload new videos, which is usually every Sunday. However, I am about to change my upload schedule, but more on that later. So make sure you hit that bell. Stay in the loop. Stay in the concept. Join the family. If you would like to see how I am looking one month post-op, then make sure you stay watching and we'll jump right into it. So it has been one excruciating month since I've got my surgery. It feels like it's been like three months. It has been the longest time ever. Not being able to move is such a pain in the ass. It's something that you take so much for granted and you wouldn't even realize how much you move until you really can't i have been limited to so few things that i can actually do it's so irritating it's been miserable i'm not gonna lie is it worth it 100 percent. has it been miserable 100 percent. so i'm gonna hop on here today to show you guys what my body is looking like one month of course i am still fully dressed because i do still have some bruises i'm not trying to freak anybody out and i also do have some scarring also not trying to freak anybody out i'm fully clothed but i did try to wear something kind of body shaping so you guys could get a kind of good idea of how i'm looking this is how my waist is looking you guys let me go over to here so you guys can see so i have lost a shit ton of fluid out of my waist my belly button was actually draining for quite a while and it kind of terrified me. I even called my doctor and I was like, oh, my belly button's draining. And he's like, that's okay. Like we left it open for you so you can keep on draining. So my waist has gotten considerably smaller since last time I've seen you guys. I also have been doing like crunches and stuff because I do go to the gym and I go tanning and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't want to give that life up for this life. And so I have been going to the gym. Don't go to the gym if you get the surgery because I'm definitely not going to the gym. But I have been going to the gym and this is how my waist is looking now. She's pretty tight. She's pretty snatched. Let me back up here and show you guys the booty. I'm trying to go against the white so you guys can see a little bit better. But this is how the booty is looking. She is still very hard, which is still super weird for me. I am not used to having a hard butt. I don't think anyone is used to having a hard butt because, you know, humans don't have hard butts. But um, she is loosening up over time. But when I first got it done, it was she was super hard. I love how I'm calling it a she. I don't I don't even know. You could touch it and it was like a rock. And now after a month, it has loosened up a little bit. It also has got a little bit tinier, unfortunately. I'm losing some swellage or swelling. I'm going, um, the swelling is going down is what I want to say in both my waist and in my ass. So of course my waist is going in, my butt's going in. Unfortunately, it's just kind of what it is. My bruising has went down, my swelling has went down and I've also started to regain some of the feeling that I have in my stomach because at first my feeling was completely gone in my stomach. I couldn't feel my skin. I couldn't really feel my hips. It was super weird. It was a weird 
circumstance definitely not used to not being able to feel my stomach but i'm starting to regain the feeling back in it meaning if i can touch it i can feel like you know the sensation of me putting my finger on it the feeling is definitely not back 100 which is still super weird but it is coming back thankfully it did freak me out so if you're gonna get a bbl i just would warn you that you do lose feeling and it's the weirdest feeling ever to not be able to like touch and feel your skin but aside from that it gets better just give it time probably a couple of weeks mine's been a month that i still don't have all my feeling back so just give it a little bit also my scars have lightened in color so when i first got them done they were a very dark brown color now it's going to a month and they're at a light brown color they are right here above my JJ, so i can't really show you but they are like a light brown color as far as the doctor's concerned you are supposed to stay out of the sun so that's why i do try to stay fully clothed no bikinis even though it's the summertime i know nothing like that because you do want them to heal as close to your skin color as possible and going out in the sun can make them even darker also i'm starting to see the shape of my body because at first you know i was kind of like a sausage especially because i had to wear that damn compression garment and i kind of looked like a stick but now i'm starting to get kind of like the shape i'm starting to kind of get my hourglass figure than what was beginning as the swelling is going down in my waist also the pain has gone down considerably so i still am in pain which i know everyone's like does it hurt does it still hurt whatever whatever i am still in pain so if you touch me really hard around my butt or around my hips it does hurt pretty bad and that's just something i've learned to deal with when i lay in bed especially my stomach hurts really bad it has gotten a lot better though because at first it was almost excruciating to lay down it's excruciating to put my compression garment on it's excruciating to shower to wash yourself to do pretty much everything it was such a pain in the ass but as time has gone on definitely the irritation and the inflammation and the pain has gone down so now it's just limited to when i touch it or like if i get poked too hard i know i have people in my life that like to poke me especially my butt everyone wants to touch my butt and it still kind of hurts but not anywhere near as bad as it did when i first got the surgery done so that is definitely a bonus jonas I'm trying to suit up here a little bit so you guys can be a little bit closer you don't use my body anymore i'm gonna go over some information that i have gone through with my doctor that i do just want to relay on to you if you do plan on getting a surgery in the future or if you want to get a surgery or whatever you want to do according to my doctor it takes about six months to see the full results so my butt will not settle until about six months from now my stomach will not you know shrink until about six months from now but at about three months i'll start to see my final results so they won't be my full results until six months but by three months i should start to see that so i'm nowhere near that i'm only a month so i'm definitely nowhere near the time it takes to see my full results i'm still very new off so i try not to judge myself and look at all of the little things so closely yet um, because we all do it. I mean, I, I'm the kind of person that picks and I want this change and this and this and this. And I'm just trying to calm myself down because I am only a month and according to the doctor, it does take three months to start seeing results and six months to the final result. Now, as far as the compression garment goes, you should be wearing your compression garment day and night for, according to my doctor, for three months. Now, I stopped wearing my compression garment because it was giving me a rash on my shoulders. I'm not really sure why, but I kept on getting ones and it kept on breaking me out. So I switched onto a waist trainer. And if you don't know what a waist trainer is, I can't really show you because I have clothes on. So it's pretty much just the waist part of the compression garment. Instead of having the full body compression garment, I did switch to a waist trainer and my doctor did give me the okay to do that because I was getting the rash from the full body. Body compression garment that I was given before and I'm healing pretty well so he did say that I could switch from a compression garment to a waist trainer and if you are planning on getting a surgery or already have a surgery make sure you get that okay from your doctor if you can switch from a compression garment to a waist trainer because I know some doctors do not want you to wear a waist trainer don't think you should wear a waist trainer however my daughter said i was okay to wear one so just make sure that you get the okay to do that first also with your compression garment you are supposed to wear lipo foams so these are my lipo foams as you can see they're pretty much clean um most people's are filthy dirty by now and you're also supposed to wear a backboard so fortunately enough for me my doctor told me i did not have to wear these but i know that you're supposed to I don't wear mine because I don't like the way they feel, especially this one is super uncomfortable. It goes on your lower back. Let me see if I can even show you. Like right here, right above your butt. And it's such a pain in the ass. It hurts when you sit down or when you lay down and it sticks to your back because there's a sticky part on it. I don't know. I don't wear it. Screw that. You're supposed to wear it. Also, lipofoams. I have three of these bad boys. I don't know what. Just to wear one right here, right here, and one right here. However, I don't wear mine because I don't wear a compression garment anymore. I wear a waist trainer. If you do wear a compression garment, make sure you wear these. It really helps with inflammation and helping getting all of that extra liquid inflammation out of your stomach when you put on that 
extra fluff for the compression. So you do want to make sure you wear these. I mean, I don't want to promote bad behavior because I don't wear mine. But if you have a surgery, just make sure you wear these so that you get the result that you paid for. Also, for the next three months, you're supposed to continue sleeping on your stomach and you're supposed to continue sitting on a butt pillow. If you don't know what a butt pillow is, I'll insert a picture right here. This is the butt pillow that I use, that I sit with. It's in my car right now. I don't feel like going to get it. That's my lifesaver, honestly. That's the only reason I've been able to do anything at all. And it's such a big pain in the ass to have to bring it everywhere. I have to explain to everyone. Everyone's like, why are you carrying a pillow around? And I'm just like, listen, girl, I just had surgery. Don't at me. So I carry that pillow around everywhere. I highly, 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 highly recommend if you're going to get a BBL that you do invest in a BBL pillow because it'll honestly save your life if you don't have one I don't know how you would even begin to function without it because I use it to go to work I use it to go out to eat I use it to go to my friend's house I use it to go everywhere you know what I mean I use it every day so it is something you're going to want to invest in but like I said as far as sleeping goes you do want to make sure you continue to sleep on your stomach I was to my doctor that you can lay on your back for periods of time after the first month and a half still not there yet so I'll cross that bridge when it comes but as far as I know as of right now no laying on your back no sitting on your butt none of that kind of stuff use a butt pillow a back a back pillow when you sit down in the car or in chairs or flip the chair backwards I also was taught how to do that so I could sit down when I go out to eat when I don't have my butt pillow and at this point if you are sexually active you can resume having sex at the one month point I believe according to my doctor that's obviously a personal kind of thing I've watched plenty of videos where people say they're not waiting a month to have sex and I know people some people wait over a month to have sex you know some people rather be safe than sorry all I know is according to my doctor it is okay after a month to re begin having sex just take it easy you know don't begin your back blown out when you just had surgery don't be doing nothing crazy make sure you keep it <laughs> nice and calm you know let your partner know hey i just had surgery you know I'm still a little sore you, you know you know what i mean you know what i mean don't be doing nothing crazy now i think that's pretty much all i have my hips i absolutely love them again the stomach is snatched booty is snatched she's still really tight but she's getting there she's growing she's glowing she's beautiful that is just my one month update you guys if you have any questions make sure you leave a comment down below or get at me somehow i know you guys kind of have me everywhere but make sure you leave a comment down below telling me if you want a bbl if you would get a bbl and how big you want your butt to be leave that down below also make sure like i said in the beginning to hit that subscribe button down below become part of the family upload every sunday and i'm about to start uploading probably every tuesday and thursday as well so make sure you hit that subscribe button big things are going to happen in the family i love you guys so so much i'm so blessed to be here and i know i spew about this every time but i just love my channel so much my subscribers are so loyal i love you guys all so much and i feel so blessed once again to call youtube my home to where i have to come here and i can feel beautiful and i can be myself and i know i'm accepted and i know people can laugh with me and i am so grateful to have you guys um also make sure that you hit that bell button down below so you are notified every time i upload new videos stay in the loop and yeah that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this one month bbl update video i love you guys so 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 much have a blessed day or night wherever you are located at Mwah.